Good evening and welcome to Central News for Friday the 27th of January. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, Hamilton-based Child Matters hopes the Green Paper will result in mandated child protection training for in New Zealand and is encouraging the community to make submissions. Academic Services Manager Amanda Maynell says Child Matters has made a submission and is seeing a positive response from locals wanting to have a say in the government's children's welfare discussion paper. Absolutely. There's, um Lots of groups that I know that are putting forward submissions throughout the country, but in the Waikato as well. Um, groups are getting together um, and, and um, having conversations and spending days talking about what it is that they want to submit. So there's a lot of thought going into what people are putting forward. Um, at Child Matters we're putting forward our own submission um, into the Green Paper and one of the things that we think is really, really important is the um, idea of child protection training for all professionals working with children and families. In New Zealand um, we don't have compulsory child protection training so those people who are working with children and families there's no need for them to mm -hmm. have child protection training. Um, it's not legislated or mandated however we just see that it's, it's absolutely crucial. So we're offering support to any community groups or organisations or individuals um, when they're making their submissions we can help them with some points that we think are important to consider. Submissions close on the 28th of February. While people may be commenting on the fact that it does not feel like summer has arrived yet with no soaring temperatures, it does not mean that hot dogs are off the menu completely. Tauranga SPCA receives four to five calls per week to tend to dogs locked in cars, running the risk of overheating which can lead the animal to die a slow death over two weeks. Tauranga SPCA's Community Liaison and Education Officer Nicole, Nicole Fensom says that animals in cars are the hot topic at the moment. It does depend on the weather but this time of year we're probably getting between 5 and 10 calls a week. Somebody goes out straight away and locates the, the vehicle. Um, we do ask for registration details over the phone so that we can be pre-prepared to know who the owner is. Um, but basically we go out and check to see whether the, the animal's in distress or not. Fish and game officers are concerned at the high number of anglers unable to produce a fishing licence when requested by staff. Officer Anthony Van Dorp says the number of fishermen without licences in Fish and Game's eastern region is three times the normal for summertime. Staff issued notices to 22 anglers fishing the Rotorua Lakes in Lake Waikiramoana over the holiday period ending January 15th. He says it's an intriguingly large increase compared with the previous years. Anglers caught without a licence can face a fine of $5,000 for not having the document and can also face charges of giving false or misleading particulars, which is an offence under the Conservation Act. KISS FM is back on air following an online-only relaunch with its owner Mount Maunganui resident Max Christopherson saying it's live again for music lovers. The station had a brief hiatus after a bid to get a new FM licence failed in 2011 with the government requiring more than $100,000 for it. To beat the licence problem and to be able to continue providing a local radio station for Tauranga and Mount Maunganui, he shifted the, shifted the operation online. Max says the new streaming link also provides compatibility with iPhones, iPads and Blackberry phones. To listen to KISS FM, search KISS FM Streaming Audio on Facebook. Time to check out the region's weather. It may not seem the best way to enter the long weekend with cloud and rain, but things do improve. Both regions are fine with morning and evening cloud. Hamilton is heading for a high of 21 from a low of 12. And Tauranga, you're heading for a high of 22 from a low of 14. Coming up after the break, John Calder speaks of his plans for Mystery Creek as the new appointed CEO. Andrew Coker and Max Mason tell all on Tauranga's business case. And Aaron Saxon has been packing heat at Moa Performing Arts Centre on the hunt for the top three to perform at next weekend's Summerfest. Join me after the break.